Good morning, Year One, and welcome to your English lesson for today. Today, we're going to practice writing in full sentences. So, our objective is to punctuate sentences correctly. To do that, we're going to use our notes from yesterday about our imaginary sea creature. So, we thought of lots of descriptive words and phrases to go with our picture. Of course, these aren't in full sentences, are they? Let's read our notes together. A shocktopus, shark and octopus, sharp teeth, tentacles and suckers, pointy fin, hard scales, smooth tail. Now those are those are not written in full sentences. They don't make complete sense. They don't start with a capital letter and full stop. If you just said smooth tail to somebody, they wouldn't really know what you were talking about. So we need to put those notes into full sentences. So our task for today is to write a description of your sea creature in four sentences using your notes from yesterday. You need to punctuate your sentences correctly, remembering your capital letter and full stop. You're going to use the adjectives you thought of the day before um, with all the descriptive phrases. For your extra challenge, you need to use and or because to extend your sentences. Let's have a look at what this might look like now. So I'm going to have a go at turning my notes into a piece of descriptive writing about my sea creature. So I started with my title, The Shocktopus, and I've underlined that with a ruler. Then I looked at my notes and it said a shocktopus, shark and octopus. And I wanted to put that into a sentence. So I've written a shocktopus is part shark and part octopus. I've written it as a full sentence with my capital letter and full stop. And this is a good, good first sentence because it tells the reader what the shocktopus is before we start describing it. Then I looked back at my notes and I saw it said they have sharp teeth and hard green scales or hard scales but I'm going to add the word green in there to add a bit more detail to add another adjective. So my sentence to describe the shocktopus is it has sharp teeth and hard green scales. So let's have a go at writing that. Start with my capital. It has sharp Sh are sharp teeth. T e th. T e th. And hard. H a d. Green, this is my extra adjective I'm going to add. Green. Green. Scales. S -k. And this time it's a split digraph. A. Scale. S. Full stop. It has sharp teeth and hard green scales. So, so far, I've used my adjectives, I've written in full sentences, but, it, but I also had the extra challenge of using and and because. And I have used and here to add a bit more detail, but now I'm going to use and to join two simple sentences. So I looked at my um, notes and it said pointy fin and smooth tail, and I get, I'm going to put those two ideas together. So it has a pointy fin on top of its head and it has a smooth tail to help it swim. 
So I've got a more extended sentence there. Remember, this is the extra challenge. So, it has a pointy p o i t e fin f i n on t up top. Of that's my tricky word, I hope you can spell that. It has a pointy fin on top of its head. P -e -d and it has a smooth. Mm, ooh, smooth, t, a, l, two tricky word. Help, p, e, up. Help it swim, sw, i, m. That's the end of my sentence. It has a pointy fin on top of its head, and it has a smooth tail to help it swim. I'm going to write one more sentence now, and I'm going to use because. So, looking at the um, notes, it says tentacles and suckers, and we can see those wiggling around there. And I'm thinking it needs those so it can catch its food. It can reach out and grab its food with the suckers. So I'm going to say it has long tentacles with suckers because it grabs its food. It has long, long, long. Now tentacles is tricky, but we've got that on our notes to copy. Tenta Curls with what if suckers, and again we can copy that from our notes with suckers because this is the reason it has tentacles because it grabs. It's the food. Food. My task today was to write a description of my sea creature using the notes from yesterday. Does my work make complete sense? Let's check it through. The shocktopus. A shocktopus is part shark and part octopus. It has sharp teeth and hard green scales. It has a pointy fin on top of its head and it has a smooth tail to help it swim. It has long tentacles with suckers because it grabs its food. I needed to remember to write in four sentences and I've done that. I've used my capital letters, full stops. Remember those finger spaces so it's easy to read. I also use my adjectives like sharp and hard green to add the detail. I use and and because, because I wanted to try that extra challenge. I wonder how you'll do today. We really look forward to seeing all your lovely work, so don't forget to send it in to us. Good luck. <laughs>